Hi, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements. I'd like to show you a trick that uh, professionals use all the time. I think it's an excellent technique for correcting color in a photograph. We've got a picture here. It's got a little bit of a, what a reddish tint to it, I guess. Now, within the program, there are a number of ways to do color correction. A number of them are automatic or semi-automatic. If you look under the Enhance menu, you see color auto color correction as well as a number of under adjust color adjustments you can make to correct the color in a picture because color correction is a big part of post-production when it comes to photography but I want to show you uh, a technique I always use it's the it's my first go-to uh, and I think that 99 percent of the time it does the job better than any other tool I'm going to use the levels tool now levels are located under enhance but under adjust lighting there it levels and the levels tool is a tool for adjusting the levels of red green and blue in your picture or adjusting all three together you'll notice down here are three samplers there is a black point a gray point that's sort of a midpoint and a white point if we designate the blackest point in our picture and the whitest point in our picture, the program should automatically adjust the colors so that they fit within that range. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna select, set black point, and then we're gonna look for a point in the picture, some spot in the picture that I think should be black. I've got just sort of the elbow of this man's suit here, and I'll click to sample it. Then I go over to the white or set white point indicator, click on that, and now find something that's white. That's nice and easy. We have white tablecloths here at this wedding. So we'll sample that. And then all I need to do is go over here to this chart and sort of adjust where I want the midpoint to be. I can set it to there. Now this is actually pretty good. Let's take a look at where we were. I'm going to uncheck preview. This is what we started with. And this is what we've ended with. Look how clean those colors are. How nice and natural the colors are. We've gotten rid of the color cast that was in there before. And most of this was done automatically. Now I'm going to reset this picture by clicking on the reset button, remove what I did to it. There's also an automatic button. I think enough people must be using this technique that Adobe figured why not stick an automatic button in there too. When I click on this, the program is going to essentially do what we did automatically. Let's see what the results are for that. And once again, we can make adjustments, fine tuning adjustments here to the midpoint to kind of brighten up the gamma for the picture. Pretty nice work. Either way works. And like I say, there are a number of tools in the program for correcting color, but this is my go-to. Whenever I need to correct color in a picture, this is the first technique I try, and then I'll use some of the others if this one doesn't work. But vast majority of time, this one works terrific. Now, if you want to know more techniques, tips, and tricks, and if you want to know all about the tools in this program, be sure to check out our moviepix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. It's available at Amazon.com and, of course, right here at the MoviePix store. I'm Steve Rossetti. Thanks for joining me. I hope you'll check out some of the other tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com.